Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela and today we'll continue with Jessica Jones, this time episode 12 of the third season. The last episode was Hellcat. We saw the struggles Trish had to go through as a child and also her road to become a hero by killing two people. She was helped by Eric and also Jessica found out that it was her that killed a uh, nose bomber and not Eric as she suspected. <laughs> anyway, as usual, I got something to drink. The episode is ready to start. So without further ado, let's do this. You're free to go. Why? You're no longer a suspect in Officer Nuss Bomber's murder. Because you found the person who did it. Because the killer struck again while you were in here. I'm drowning. He was passed out on the office floor when I got here. Refused to leave. Said he had something important to tell you. Why am I always drowning? You brought her down to your shitty level. Yes, I, sc I screwed up. It's on me. It's all I saw. I'm nearly dying. My headache's lifted. It was like the balance of all the crap in the world suddenly tilted toward good. You still serve for here. I can protect myself. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. It's inevitable. Jessica Jones versus the masked murderer. Oh my god, please shut up. Where? What do you where? mean, where? You come from up? They left through the door. Understand this. We're gonna put him away for life. With what evidence? You destroyed it. Not all of it. Your client here needs protection. No, you're my protection. What do you mean? You said that you can protect yourself. What are you gonna do when you find me beaten to death? This is what she does. To protect her. You have to protect me. Okay, I pressured her. It was important. It's 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 a very personal thing. Everything is personal with you, isn't it? Should I be worried? Probably. You don't fit her profile. She couldn't get a hold of you, but she told me what she needs us to do. <laughs> Wait, what? Who are you talking about? Jessica. Who are you talking about? Your sister. Ah, uh, it's not really my place to say. Something's wrong. It'll be all right. You look good, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> you big jerk off. You little shit. <laughs> Bitch. Jerk. So Jessica needed us to do something? Right. Uh, if it involves helping Trish, I'm not. We're helping Trish. Uh, it's time we let the cops handle her. No, it, it's not her fault. And Jessica is paying you a shit ton of money. So it's her words, not mine. So do your job. Again, her words, not mine. Reveal her identity. Let the police take it. I don't know police you know about you. I'd be risking imprisonment myself. So why are you talking about so called evidence? What are you going to do? Yeah. That camera uploads to a server. Would you trust a cloud? Evidence of your sick shit. Jesus. She'd be alright? Yeah. If this was my play, you'd be in police custody. Well, because you're all about justice, helping Hogarth exonerate rapists and murderers. You're right. I have a lot to make up for. And we were sitting right here the night we met. I'd take it back if I could. Thanks a lot. Brought a lot of pain to your world. It would have found me in one way or another. I hope it continues. What do you mean? The upward swing. Same thing. Let's just get through this. It must be maddening to be this predictable. This is Jessica playing him. Take your um, 
intentionally in different rebel rock garb, for example. They are your cape, your mask, and your armor. Or maybe she likes wearing jeans and a leather jacket. I want you to accept what you fear the most. That your family died for nothing. You believe they were sacrificed in exchange for your gifts. That they died so that you could save the world. It's not that she asked for any of it. Uh, she was in the car accident as well and you know they tried to save her life by giving her these powers. Oh, and also her mother didn't die in the accident. Oh, it's not that there was an exchange, her family for her powers, you know. <sighs> I touched my mom's blood, smeared it all over my face. And I ran across to the neighbor, Mrs. Levin. And I told her my dad had hit me. My dad was arrested. I never saw him again. What I did was wrong. Was it? But it was also right. There's a big difference between lying and killing someone. You need that logic. Because if they're worthy kills, you're not just a murderer. It brings you pleasure. No. You got off on it. You and your step little knife, you're probably hard right now, aren't you? I killed Dorothy to punish you. To punish all of you. And that's what she wanted. You're not the only one with a camera. I did lie about one thing, though. You okay? So I that's why Eric had finish. that paper bag in the in the bar. I think you might have missed something at the Dorothy Walker crime scene. Mm -hmm. Copy. On it. I killed Dorothy to punish you, to punish all of you. This is over. It isn't satisfying, it doesn't take away the pain, and it doesn't affect either of us except that he's done. That's it. Now that Sillinger is in jail, there is one more episode, so something else will happen. You have to face the test eventually. You get to make the sacrifice. Will you? Mitch. I'm eager to find out. Stop pretending that you are some kind of a smart ass. Because you're not. You're in jail because you are so full of yourself. Pipes. We're five stories down. It's the pipes. Don't worry about it. Your point being? Don't look. Trish is doing something stupid. Wow, Trish, wow, Trish, wow. So that was the thing, Sanger is gone for good. And I'm kind of happy because I never liked him. He just annoyed me. And if I heard him talking about truth one more time, I would have probably killed him myself. I don't have a problem with Trish killing him, like taking revenge for uh, her mother's death, like only with this part. But considering all the things around it, it's like, I can't believe what she did. She wiped out everything that Jessica did or also trying to do the whole season she was like uh nope kill him the whole season just was nope we don't kill him 
we put him in jail for good. You know, she did her best, everything she could to keep Trish safe and out of jail. Uh, so she will go to jail and not any kind of jail but the raft. I think Diamondback is there, if I remember correctly, from uh, Luke Cage. So she'll have a friend. After that stupid plan, I mean, it wasn't stupid because it worked, but like predictable, so predictable and Salinger was the one to talk about, oh, you are so predictable. After that plan worked and he was finally in jail. And for sure now everyone is looking for her, the police, because, you know, she did it in a public place and I'm pretty sure she was captured on camera. So, yeah, she has no, no hope of escaping. And I feel, I feel really, really bad for for Jessica because that's what she was trying to um, avoid. I also have a feeling that Trish will finally go after Hogarth. After all the times that Trish said how bad of a person Jerry is and how she lets people, you know, get away. In the end, Trish kind of became the final villain and probably she will have to fight Jessica so that's a thing I think this is all I have to say about this episode thank you for watching I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time bye